Aluminum-based deodorant must now be indicted. People are poisoning themselves by using these anti-sweat products. Most people now understand that aluminum cookware is hazardous. Insects and rodents do not like aluminum-based baked products. Such baking powders are anathema to human beings. So we have aluminum in our deodorants and aluminum in our baking powder. Among senior citizens, the syndrome is Alzheimer's disease and aluminum toxicity problem. Aluminum inhabits or inhibits rather boron with one aluminum molecule knocking out three boron molecules and the chief culprit is processed foods. American cheese best melts on the hamburger because of added aluminum. So there's a third item there. American cheese on your cheeseburger is putting aluminum into <clears throat> your body. Now this aluminum now is like <clears throat> If I said, hey, let's go down to the store and buy some aluminum cookware, I don't think you could anymore. After World War II, it was the rage. I remember as a kid, <clears throat> aluminum pots and pans, my, my granny went down and bought a bunch of them. And then one day somebody said, oh, this aluminum is toxic and it's killing us, and then aluminum just disappeared. And everybody threw the aluminum out. They started using them as dog dishes. You know, we'd, we'd feed the dog out of the aluminum pots, you know, outside on the ground. And so we stopped using those. And so I think that the average American thinks that, well, I'm, I'm protected from aluminum because we don't have any aluminum cookware. Have you noticed, boys and girls, the amount of foods that are canned in aluminum cans? I mean, you know, you go into the store and you buy a Coke and it's an aluminum can. Now let me ask you this, if you wouldn't eat food out of an aluminum pot, why would you drink Coke out of an aluminum can? I just thought I'd throw that out there for you to consider. Because Americans aren't very consistent with logic. I don't know if it's because we're so busy watching, you know, uh, Dr. Phil and Oprah that we haven't got a brain left, you know, to think with. But I gave you a report here on the <clears throat> on this Coca-Cola. I mean, that stuff is uh, <clears throat> is pretty pretty damn toxic, even by itself. If you put a if you put a nail in Coca-Cola, I forgot what the time was that it'll dissolve a nail in a in a month or so or a week. Now, if Coca-Cola can dissolve a nail in a week, do you think maybe it could dissolve a little bit of aluminum off the side of the can into the Coke that you're drinking? I don't know. Thought crossed my mind, though. And I got to thinking about that. And so, now, I try to avoid aluminum containers. You know what I mean? Just uh, just been doing this for years and years. I figured years ago that if they told me that aluminum cookware was bad for me, I put two and two together and said, well, probably aluminum foil, you know, that you wrap your turkey into cooking, probably ain't too good for you either. I mean, if you wouldn't cook this turkey in an aluminum pan, why would you cook this turkey in aluminum foil? So we're going to cook him in a steel pan, wrap him in aluminum foil because we're suffering from an aluminum shortage. Is that what you're? You got a you got a shortage of aluminum. Do you, do, you, do you get up in the morning and take your moldy vitamin with aluminum, or is it a moldy vitamin with iron, fortified with iron? Now iron's got some value to it, but aluminum they tell us doesn't have any value at all. In fact, it's toxic. Just thought I'd throw that out there for you. Now, among senior citizens, the syndrome is called Alzheimer's disease. You know, Alzheimer's. Aluminum-based deodorant, American cheese, baking powder. Now, food coloring also stands out in detail. If the suffix like or lake, L-A-K-E, appears in connection with a food coloring, it designates an aluminum-based ingredient. So when you're making food coloring, you know, to make the, the, the little kitties happy, you know, at their birthday party, you're putting aluminum into their food. Now, how much aluminum can you put in there? Well, you can put in a lifetime's worth. I mean, you can put in aluminum, and you can keep using deodorant and American cheese on your 
hamburger and so on. And you can do that until you're 40, 50, 60 years old and then your memory starts to fade. Then you go to the doctor and he says, oh, you've got Alzheimer's disease. And then you go, oh, you gasp, you know, oh, like Judy Hartson. And then you, and you say, oh my God, uh, why me? Well, why not you? I mean, after all, you've been living your life just like the average Joe Sixpack. Why not you? I mean, after all, that baking powder, you know that they're putting aluminum. Now, here's, here's the point I'm trying to make. Uh, do you think that the people that are putting aluminum into your table salt so that it will pour, or aluminum in your deodorant, or aluminum in the American cheese so that it melts uniformly over the hamburger, do you think that those people do not know what the toxic effects of aluminum are? Well, come on, kids. You and I might not know. You know, being plumbers and truck drivers and and then and, and, and housewives. But you mean the people that are actually doing this? I mean, think about this in, in pragmatic terms. Haven't you heard about the toxicity of mercury? Haven't you heard about the toxicity of lead? Have you never heard of the toxicity of aluminum? Do you mean to tell me that the good folks at the CDC and the Food and Drug Administration, the Department of Agriculture, at Kraft Foods, Monsanto, they've never heard of the toxicity of aluminum? And they're sticking it into your cheese, your deodorant? They're, they're sticking it into the aspirin that you take? Come on, boys and girls, let's wake up and smell the coffee, shall we? Not only do they know it, they, they know it and they know what it does to us. That's the, that's the tragic part. <laughs> These guys know what it does to us. You and I don't know until we read an article. You know, Charles Walters, you know, he said, well, let's take a look at this thing, put a three-page article in here. And so I took a look at this and I said, oh, my God, if this is going on, what about lead and mercury? What about this thing called heavy metals? What about cobalt and chromium, beryllium, barium, cadmium? Have you heard about those toxic elements? What foods are those in? What common, ordinary, everyday garden variety exposure do you and I have to lead, cadmium, mercury, arsenic, barium, beryllium, chromium, cobalt, and selenium that we don't know anything about? But here's what's more important. We'll cover this a little later. What do you do to get rid of it? You know, when you go to the doctor and he says, well, I think you've got uh, Alzheimer's. You've got an onset of Alzheimer's. At that point, what should you do? What do you think we should do? Well, if Alzheimer's is caused by aluminum toxicity, wouldn't it be a good idea to get all of the aluminum in your body out of your body? Wouldn't that be a logical place to start? Example, if you went to the doctor and you said, I'm really feeling bad, he does some tests and says, you're suffering from arsenic poisoning. This goes on in the world, especially in India, where I guess they've got a lot of arsenic in the groundwater. And so they'll drill a well, and then pretty soon the people in the village are getting sick, and they come out and test the water, and say, oh my God, this, are, this water is full of arsenic. And do you know what they do in India when they've got a well that's full of arsenic? They cap the well, and they stop taking the water out of it. Now, that just makes all the sense in the world to me. You're, you're getting arsenic, and the arsenic is causing ill health. Your hair's falling out. You're getting sick. People are dying, and you've got arsenic poisoning. All right, now let's try it this way. Let's <clears throat> suppose that you were diagnosed with aluminum poisoning. What would you do? Do doctors say, well, let's stop using deodorant. Let's stop taking aspirin. Let's stop taking buffered aspirin. Let's stop taking, you know, American cheese on our hamburgers, and, and, and let's go on an active program and let's clean your body out of all of the aluminants in it. Is that the place that we start with Alzheimer's disease? I haven't heard that. So let me throw that one out there as a, as a thought. Probably the logical thing to do would be to get all the aluminum out of your body. Here's, here's one more thought going you know a step further. Would it make sense to us then at this juncture of time, at age 25,